So we're starting with a size 12 fully mill 5130. For the bead, got a 3.8 uh, slotted tungsten 015 lead wire. I'm just gonna give this just a, a few wraps here. So I want this fly to invert. So the purpose of the lead wraps are so that we can flip the speed over and then we can just push it into that, that bead. It kind of holds that bead in place. Okay, so we're gonna use some gray 3 aught Danville. And I'm going with a little bigger thread because this is a, you know, just a little bigger fly. Maybe we'll just trim that off. Put a little base layer back to where a barb would be. Next, we'll grab some UV white marabou. Grab a piece about one and a half length of the hook shank, something like that. Let's go ahead and uh, give that a loose wrap and a couple wraps, and then we're gonna go ahead and tie it back into the bend a little bit. And what that does is it just keeps the marabou from fouling on the hook. And we'll trim and we'll just cover up a little bit of this and work our thread back. So I'm going to take my finger like that. And I apologize for my voice, I've been sick. So I've, it's folded around my finger and we're just going to create what's called a dubbing loop. I just want to go around it a couple times. And then we'll advance our thread forward. Dubbing spinner. We're going to hook that in the loop and just kind of let it hang for a minute. Okay, so next we're going to grab some of this pearl uh, tinsel. It changes colors from green to gold to chartreuse to purple. It's like a chameleon color. It's, and I custom make dubbing out of this stuff, which I might sell here pretty soon. Next, we're going to just grab a clump here, grab a dubbing clip. I just happen to have a really cheap one, and we're going to pinch as many of those fibers just so it's like that. So next, we're going to take a pair of scissors. We're just going to trim that about a quarter of an inch, leaving about a quarter of an inch, so it looks like that. Grab your dubbing loop and leave your shepherd's hook in there and just open it with your fingers and then we're going to insert this clip into the loop. Remote, take your finger out, pull tight and then we're going to just spin. Let me hang my thread over the cradle so I can kind of give you guys a view of so you can just spin it. Um, so next we're just going to take a rotary vise and if you don't have a rotary, rotary vise you can do it by hand but I'm just going to work these fibers forward or work the dubbing loop forward and then we will take our uh, get that out of the way. You don't want to capture too many of those fibers it doesn't make a big deal. I'll bring those fibers back and just kind of get a couple wraps take and trim this. Next we're going to grab a quality marker red and we're going to color our thread. And so we're just going to grab some of these fibers and just print them back and tie in our newly red thread. We're going to grab our whip finish tool Go ahead and just give this a five turn whip finish. And it doesn't have to be red. You guys can use orange. Um, I just feel like the red kind of looks like the gills. This because this is like a bait fish imitation. We'll trim our thread. So next we'll just take a dubbing brush here and just kind of just brush out some of these fibers that might be stuck. Take our fine point scissors here, long scissors, and we're just going to give this a haircut. And I like to give it just a little bit of a taper.
Give it just a small drop of water-based head cement. So here it is after a haircut. And this is why I like to use the UV Marabou. You can see how it lights up. This is what the sunlight will do to it. The UV rays of the sunlight will just light that Marabou up. That combined with that pearlescent chameleon colored flash just really drives fish crazy. So, so here's a fishing clip and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. You guys take care. Let's see. Streamer. Oh, I just had a nice grab. Beautiful cutting.